Hi, this is Melcher Moore, and today we are in the Waterstone Gallery with Karen Whippich. Um, Karen is a graphic artist that kind of moved into acrylic, um, what would you call this, abstract, collage? Yeah, yeah. I call it collage mixed media. Collage mixed media. <laughs> <laughs> well, what really fascinates me about Karen is that she just hit the art scene um, kind of with a bang. Uh, you have a lot of publicity, just very successful at it, uh, uh, yeah. I think. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and so uh, Karen was going to talk to us today about um, maybe what uh, an emerging artist in uh, Portland should be looking for and um, maybe their first steps uh, to sort of uh, reach her level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, well, I'm pretty new to it, so I, you know, I'm fortunate that it's taken off so quickly for me. But um, I would say the first step would be to put yourself out there, um, find somewhere to that somebody that'll hang your art. You know, I started at the Big Five Hundred, and before yeah. that, I was just dabbling. And I didn't even think I was an artist till I did the Big 500, and suddenly everybody's scouting my work, and they all sold in like 10 minutes. And so then it's like, okay, maybe I am. <laughs> so, but build a body of work and get seen. How many pieces did you kind of start out with, like when making your transition uh, before you started? I didn't have a lot. I probably had 20, but they were consistent. It, it looked like a body of work. Yeah. Um, and what I did was I hit on something and I would just keep working it and working it and working it until it turned into something and then something else would happen. And I, you know, so I just kept at it. I just kept going, you know. And so I kind of see that you. You kind of seem to hit the scene like 2017, and then you just like just started rolling. Yeah. Um, were you kind of like dabbling with shows before? Um, yeah. In that big 500, were you showing your little shows and then? Yeah, um, I had some show group shows, and after the big 500, people started coming to me like Recycled Rain and shows like that. So I, it was always a group show and stuff, and then. Um, in 2016, I actually made the decision to go full-time as an artist. And then I got on Oregon Art Beat, and the, um, then the Artslandia cover came after that, and, and things just started really rolling in, so I, I guess it was I put it out there. It came back. The energy. Yeah. yeah. We were talking earlier about just saying you're an artist, and once you start saying it, it just kind of the ball rolls. Right. Yeah. People believe you. And and that's it. Believe in yourself. And and if you believe it and you tell people, they'll believe it. Even if you don't believe it. <laughs> you don't I think you should believe it. It's very beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, kind of, you're making a transition. You're looking for a new place, maybe leaving Portland. Is it okay to say that? Like, yeah. Right? yeah. You have the public announcement. Yeah. Um, so, now that you're leaving, looking back, are you... Would you say that there is anything that you would have done differently, like looking back at um, sort of your emergence? Yeah. Well, yeah. probably yes, but actually no. Because I think I, I probably made a lot of mistakes in the beginning, but I think it all needed to happen that way because some things that I thought were mistakes were actually opening a door that I didn't realize was there. So. I don't think you can make a wrong decision. Like learn from your errors. Right. Yeah. Just go out, do it. Do it. Yeah. Don't don't talk yourself out of it. Just do it, you know? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> the um what was the the other one was uh oh no, I'm drawing a blank. We uh, said um we might have to edit portions of this out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Put it on the blooper. On the blooper reel. The, we said, um, 
Karen, <laughs> do you feel like there are any trends within Portland that you don't see in your um, other galleries, uh, you know, in La Jolla and LA areas that, um, as far as like art sales, art collectors, um, what kind of trends do you see in Portland? Well, I think the trends I see more are the people. Like, they're not all the same. I would think the same type of people would gravitate towards my work, and it's not. It's different people, and they like it for different reasons. Like, they maybe see their aunt or uncle in there, or they love cats, or they like pink or something. But it's not usually what I think it's going to be. So, that's... Well, that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this, Gary. Thank you. It's um, been a pleasure. <laughs> it was nice. Bye. <laughs>